Okay, so but let, I am let me publicly ask you, challenging him to do that tonight. Regarding the money that he alleges that was supposed to be used for, for health care services at Soundview, it's $14 million that you allegedly siphoned, looted, etc. We've been through the language. Stole. You said stole the other no, night I, on TV. That, that's what the <laughs> Attorney General says that you did. Allegedly, I, I it's be, all alleged. I want to keep the where, words clear here. Yes, but We're not where did the money go, uh, Senator? He's saying, he's saying stole. And he's saying stole because he knows that's a lie, but he's saying stole, right? And so he couldn't indict. He didn't have the evidence to support his fabrications. And so now we're in a civil suit where I siphoned well, off I'm actually million not sure dollars. that he has the power for criminal indictment. I mean, he does oversee the Charities Bureau. That's his responsibility. Now you have the federal government. They well, do have the power well, to bring yeah. criminal charges. Well, and that's his version. With this. That's his version. The, the fact of the matter is that, that he could have, had he had a case, he has no case, he has no evidence. The fact of the matter is that this is fabrication of lies. But let me get to the $14 million because people want to know. I, and the truth I of the matter know. is... <laughs> Well, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> okay. the $14 million is made up of, I looted, I stole $9 million in a severance clause that I never demanded and enacted, and he is saying to you, and uh, the people of the state of New York, in this civil suit, that I stole it. How in the world could you make that claim? You know it's a lie. It never reached my pocket. It never left Soundview. Soundview could not afford that. No demand was made on that. Therefore, that takes... Uh, care of three quarters of the lie. The five million dollars is comprised of every penny that any member of my family, and let's be clear, I'm very, very proud of the fact that as a person that was raised in the South Bronx, that was a father at 17, that was homeless at 16, and a graduate of major institutions in this state, I was able to bring my talents to develop this as a 22-year-old 30 years later, yes, Hundreds upon hundreds of doctors and people have been employed there, and therein also five or six of my boy, uh, my family, right. including my three sons. But, but the rest of sons. the money, the I'm five very million, proud of that. The, those that five Pardon? million dollars, it, ostensibly it went towards trips that you took. Did you take these trips? Did you order that sushi? Oh, let, Did your wife order Let me, order let me the explain sushi? about the five million. I'm trying to do that. Uh, every cent that my family made, every cent that I was entitled to and paid taxes on make up part of this five million over 30 years that I looted. And, and, and so you couldn't get away with that if you had a grand jury. You couldn't get away with that if you ever had to present that to a, a judge. So he files this civil suit knowing that he drops this bomb on his way to the governor's mansion, Senator, he will never be held accountable for it. Senator, the, the, w just, I'm sorry, just answer the question to clear it up for me, if you would. Did you take these trips, and were those meals ordered and consumed by member yourself and your wife, etc.? Well, we, we're not going to deal with, with uh, what's being served up in my kitchen table. What we're going to deal with is the fact that every single penny that I earned I earned and paid taxes. But, but on. I'm not hearing the you say no. The question. Okay. One trip. You gotta listen to me. Not, one I, trip I was worried that you were we gonna took get to, it, to Las were. Vegas. One trip that was taken to Las Vegas have now been put on the centerpiece of these lies. You know. No, there was actually a trip to Puerto Rico years, too. And I we think. have traveled. I have traveled not to Las Vegas. I have traveled to China. I have traveled to parts of Latin America, dealing with healthcare disparities, trying to bring the best doctors in this world to the South Bronx. I've succeeded in that. The Las Vegas trip that the media likes to focus in on was a mental health conference that I paid for, and Andrew Cuomo should be the first one to talk about it because when he goes gallivanting. Uh, around the state. He does it on the taxpayer's dime. He has a driver on the taxpayer's dime. He has a name that he's built on the shoulders of his father who was a governor. Yet he tries to destroy well, my all family. Elected so officials let's be clear actually, about what we're talking about here. All, ma many elected officials, I mean the governor has a driver too. The state, uh, uh, the state attorney general no, no, we're has talking a position. About the person that's trying to talk about perks. The person that has he's never ever about... had an enterprise that he's developed. My 30 years of developing this medical, medical enterprise is what we're talking well, about. Actually, in contrast to a political opportunist who has misused his powers and abused his powers, not just against my person, but against a community of African-American and Latinos who support 
he covets. Okay, so actually, the truth out here. actually, the attorney general did create um, a housing entity, if I remember correctly. So he has created. Well, he created, entity, created some I'm not housing. Defend, created on, a housing crisis that. He's, he's created a housing crisis out of HUD that uh, we have yet to talk about, okay. so I'm glad He'll, you brought up housing, be, but that's for another day. We'll talk about that. He will be asked about that, but let, let, let me just ask you this. In light of all the situa is the situation that's going on, which you would not deny is creating somewhat of a maelstrom and perhaps uh, diverting people's attention away from serious business oh no. that, ne oh no. hold on, oh no. that needs to be done oh no. in Albany, Serious oh, things. No. All of your colleagues are now talking about you and what should they do about you. They're being asked these questions. Why not just give up your leadership position and <laughs> let that clear well, itself up? I'm sure that I'm sure I'm sure some of my detractors would love to hear that, but it's not going to happen. And let me reaffirm and be very clear. I'm going to continue to be majority leader. I'm going to continue to be the senator from the 33rd district. I will stand for re-election. I will continue to bring his historic reform to the Senate, historic resource to my district, and introduce legislation like the rent freeze bill that would provide 600,000 people in New York City, R their rents will be frozen for five years, farm workers, domestic workers, people that need our leadership. This budget that needs my business acumen over 30 years, I'll compare that with anybody in the state legislature. All of this is being channeled. I'm not being distracted. I'm being focused. I will channel all of my energies to get a, a budget that's responsible and fair for the people of New York. As majority leader, I work with Senator Sampson as our conference leader. He was clear on your show. He's been clear every time he's asked. He wants me to stay as majority leader. I will continue to serve with him and lead with him and the leadership team in the Senate. So your answer then is no, right? You're going to run for re-election. You're not going to resign. You're not going to heed any calls to step down from your leadership post. There are no calls. The calls, the, 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 the calls are coming from people that have been my detractors all along. I'm focused in on working with the leadership team on providing the people of the state of New York what they really want, and that's job opportunities. They want an end to this economic crisis. They want an end to this inaction and paralysis that has stymied growth in this state. And I'm going to be a part of the solution. I will not be detracted. Okay, Senator, I really appreciate your time. Thanks for Thank coming you, on and airing your. And congratulations side of again. I can't see you, but I know you look great. You certainly sound great. Thank you very much, Senator Spada, Majority Leader of the Senate. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much.